Come on, let's give him glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I said, let's give him glory. The El Shaddai, the God Almighty, the all-sufficient one. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah to God be the glory. The hands of God is on your life. I said the hands of God is on your life. Oh, God, we just come to give you glory, Father, and all of the honor, Lord God, because you are worthy, Father. You are truly the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the author and finisher of our faith, oh, Lord God. And we just come to bless your holy name, oh, God. We bless you, God, because of who you are, Jesus. Oh, God, we just thank you, God. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord, and I give you all the praises and all of the honor. Oh, Jesus, because you are worthy to be praised. I said, he is worthy to be praised. Who oh, bless the Lord. Who oh, bless the Lord. I said, bless the Lord. Who oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, I ask you right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus, if there's any covenant that I have made with the enemy, knowingly or unknowingly, I break that covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus. Now, Lord, oh God, oh God, I pray right now, God, that this old flesh, I command you flesh to stand down in the mighty name of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus. And I ask, oh God, humbly, that the Holy Spirit would stand up and speak and have your way, God. Let this reach whom we need to reach in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory. This song is by Lydia Pernier, Worship on the Keys. Thank you, Lord. This information will be in the description box, okay? Thank you, Father. We bless you right now. We bless you, Jesus. It's something I want to share with you guys. I want to share. Somebody sent me a, a email and bless me again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm t they blessed me when they told me about their testimony. It was a blessing. It just blessed me because I wasn't coming on. I was getting ready to put on my, my mud mask and spend time with the Lord. Just laying before him. You know, just, just lay before him. And when I woke up and I saw this email, let me tell you something. It just blessed me. Oh my God, it blessed me. And I'm getting ready to share the email. This was just too good for me to just post. I say, no, I got to take this to YouTube. Oh, I got to go tell them about this one. Oh yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Proverbs 10, 22. You heard me say this yesterday. You may hear it again. The blessings of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow. Mm, the Lord getting ready to speak to somebody because the hand of God is on your life. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. And I'm going to read this testimony to you guys that blessed me when they sent this to me. I mean, it really blessed me. I woke up to this blessing. Thank you so much for your prayers and for interceding for so many of us. I reached out to you for prayer and wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was searching for a job and running low on funds and just days away. From a possible eviction. Then the Lord showed up. The, the Lord showed up and showed out. Whew. I went from no interview to five interviews to run each of these companies. These jobs all paid well into the six figures. The initial interview went well and I had moved on the next round. These interviews were looking at me like I was the best applicant they had ever met. The favor of the Lord was mighty or power, but by his spirit. But he didn't stop there. I wasn't sure how the rent was going to get paid as my savings and cash on hand were all but gone. I had family that could help, but they enjoyed seeing, seeing me down. I knew my help was not going to come. From any of them, but the Lord saw it all and money that wasn't supposed to be processed and released for three months got released in a matter of days. 
It's only by the grace of God that any of this is possible. He can literally take you from the pit to the palace in one day. Oh, thank you, Father. The Lord is moving and I am so thankful for all of your prayers. And I just wanted to share my testimony to say thank you. Be blessed. And this is by, let's see, F. Jones. F. Jones. To God be the glory. Congratulations to you. Thank you, Father. You know, I was just live, I was just talking to the Lord. You know, my, my bedroom is my prayer room. Okay, I be praying. Well, you could say the whole place. But I was just laying down in my bed and I said, Lord, I say, God, I say, I am believing you that more miracles is coming through the ministry. I say, I'm believing you, Father, not just, I say, not just for myself. I say, but I want to see others win and get blessed too. I say, Lord, I'm believing you. I'm standing in a gap. I say that that more testimonies is coming forth, that more blessings is coming forth, that you're going to open the doors for your people, God. I say, because you said what affect others will not affect us. Thank you, Jesus. And it's not just about being connected to this ministry, but it's about being connected. I want you to hear me because I'm getting ready to go deep with this thing. It's not about being connected just to this ministry. Yes, that's fine. Come and get the message. Put your notification on. But it's about, it's about being connected to the Father. It's about having your own personal relationship. I want you to hear me. It's not about, it's not about just being connected to the ministry. You have no relationship with the Lord. Because there's nothing going to, I'm telling you, you're not going to tap in all that you could tap in. You may have just the, 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 the regular OK, of barely making it. But I'm telling you, we are in the land of more than enough. The Lord say this is the season for the overlook and the dismiss. Mm, thank your father. Mm, some of you been overlooked by family and dismissed and been talked down on, been laughed about, been put on a back burner. But God said, I'm getting ready to bring you to the forefront. The Lord speaking to somebody because the hands of God is on your life. And this is not financially. Some God is literally about to heal. Hear what I'm saying. The Lord is, I see the portal of heaven is open. The portal of heaven is open and I see miracles coming through. Oh, I prophesied this in the mighty name of Jesus that more miracles is coming through. And I told y'all, if y'all go back and look at the other videos, because I'm sure some more new people are coming through here. Okay, if you go back and look, I put the links in the description box, okay? But if you go back and look at those, but I was prophesying to my daughter and I shared this, how I was prophesying and I was telling her that I see new, 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 everything new. Ooh, I see breakthroughs. I say, I'm waking up to something new. Ooh, some of you literally, some of you are, are going to sleep and you're going to wake up to something new. You waking up to a breakthrough. I want you to hear me. Your whole life is going to be changed. Ooh, and you walking into greater. Mm, you walking into the land of more than enough, the land of plenty. I want you to hear me. Your cup is getting ready. I feel the Holy Spirit. Your cup is getting ready to overflow. Hear what I'm saying. The overlook. And a dismiss. The Lord say you are next. I'm on my way to your house next. Thank you, Jesus. Not everybody's going to catch this in the spirit. Because some of us looking for the blessings and we ain't looking for God. I'm going to say that again. Some of us are looking for the blessings and we're not looking for God. Oh, we want what he got to give, but we don't want him. We don't want to spend time with him. But the, God, the Lord sent me to tell you that you need to tap in. Mm. Oh, even though you have rejected him and pushed him to the side, the Lord's still waiting on you with open arms. Ooh, the Lord's waiting on you to spend time. And you say, how do I spend time? By meditating in your word, by getting in the word of God, learning the word of God for yourself. Okay. You get the word and you go search it out. Don't wait on me to search it out for you. It's up to you to search it out. The Bible says that we must study to show thyself approval. Okay. So go spend time with the Lord and tap in because I'm telling you the windows of heaven is open. I hear the Lord say, that ain't all. Mm, that ain't all. And it ain't just about this ministry, okay? You could be connected to any ministry that's of God, okay? I want you to hear me. That's of God. And if you are connected, 
okay, to that ministry and you connect it to the Heavenly Father first and you have a personal relationship with your father, okay, and you know your heart, you've been fasting, you be, you've been praying, you've been laying before God, I'm telling you, you will not lack and go without. The father is faithful. Oh, he going to take care. I'm telling you, he's going to take care of his own. I want you to hear what I'm saying. The Lord will provide and take care of you. I'm a witness. Oh, I'm a witness. And I sit here today testifying because I live off my faith alone. And can I tell you, I have not lacked. I have not been without. I've had more than enough. My cup is overflowing. I'm in a land of plenty. The Lord is speaking to somebody. You in a land of plenty. Mm. And I hear the father saying right now, you ain't seen nothing yet. The Lord is speaking to somebody. The Lord is speaking to somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just had to come on today. I say, Lord, you done did it again. Oh, I got so emotional. Guys, I was in here shout, shout, shouting. I shouted all the way to the bathroom to get my shower, okay? And to try to throw myself together because the day was supposed to be my day to pamper myself and do my hair. And here I am <laughs> looking a mess. But to God be the glory. I just had to bring this word and bless somebody because this is going to bless somebody life because the hands of God is on your life. Mm, the last should be first and the first should be last. Mm, remember, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow. And what's the other one? Psalms 34, 19. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but he delivers them from them all. Mm, so I'm telling you what affect others. Yeah, we in a pandemic, but guess what? It will not affect you. He said, though a thousand may fall at your side. 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only witness the wicked being punished from a distance. Hear what I'm saying. The Lord is faithful and the Lord love you. I said, the Lord love you and he going to make a way for you. But you got to believe that that they just don't want what he's giving you. Want all of him. Ooh, I want all of him. Mm. Some people say, I want to be a millionaire. You know, I want this. I want this car. I want the house. Oh, I want God first. Oh, Lord, I want all of you. And Father, if there's anything in me that'll stop me and block me from getting you, rip it out. Take it out now, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For what good does it do, okay, to, to want the things that he bless you with and don't want the blessing, okay? You want the blessings, but you don't want the blesser. I'm going to say that again. You want the blessings, but you don't want the blesser. We don't use God like he a prostitute. Mm, he got feelings too. And the Lord love you unconditional. Even when you reject him, he still love you. Mm, some of us just need to get before God and just bless him. Ooh, even if he don't do nothing else, he's still worthy. Hear me, saints, of all the praises and all of the honor. To God be the glory. Until next time, you guys be blessed. I love you. I love you. And it's more to come. The Lord is on his way to your house next. Come testify. Send me an email. It's more coming through. I believe the Lord. I believe the Lord. But remember, it first start with you having that personal relationship with God. I could fast and I could pray all I want and stand in a gap for you. But if you're not spending time, nothing going to shift for you. I want you to hear me. It's time for us to tap in, saints. The Lord is calling us to higher grounds. You guys be blessed. Bye-bye.